bosses. Every single time a fight began. To the point that we saw Defiant have like one ultimate per player. Shu, by the way, just getting to see his POV. Look at what he was doing. He just gets to nano fearless and then just deal with Kalush looking for that dive. And then here comes Violet. They know that the Winston bubble's been used. There's the Discord. He's already sleeping. You're not missing that headshot. Pelican even landing a little bit of a hand, just tossing up a false bomb. It really is a group effort from my He's going for the ramp. So he's looking to punish the fact that Defiant are anchoring around this Reinhardt. When he gets close enough, those pummels are going to connect onto every single player sitting behind Kalusha shield. All right, 72%. They're now in the lead, though. But like you mentioned, Fearless coming in, going to do a lot of work more than likely on this front line. Forces Kalush back, so that pressure already coming into play. And happy out of the Hanzo immediate impact after swapping to that hero to find Hydra on the backside. Now speedily trying to look for that duel. Let's see if he can live up to his claim of trying to be the best tracer in the world. Kalush now is taken very low. He goes down too, and it seems like the fight is slowly getting bled out here. They're going to have to go for a reset and maybe get one more fight. Yeah, it is going to be a reset, but Defiant are going to have Sound Barrier and they're going to have Amplification Matrix. 20 on Disintegrate. <laughs> Did that actually just happen? Like, it was like one second to play out, next second dust speedily coming in with the absolute dumpster onto Atlas' backline. And Phyllis still sticking on this Winston, still trying to build up to that Primal. She's going to have a nano for this next fight, and that's the difference maker. Speedily is gone. Speedily has been the one to keep Pelican in check right now. So Ultravire is going to look a little bit more vulnerable. But no. the CFAP does connect onto Fearless before the nano boost from Shu actually gets learned of sight to keep the Winston up. And so he's not able to build up to the being there in the mech allows Defiant a safety blanket against so much that Outlaws are trying to run into that back line. Right. Well, let's see if Outlaws can actually stop Defiant on this attack, they move towards that second, that room on the bottom left, towards the health pack to set up their dive. Fearless already jumping back early. Maybe a little bit scared of that damage that Defiant had earlier. They're just playing back, allowing Violet to find these right clicks. Maybe giving them that opening pick that they need. There's that first hack. It is onto Collusion. As a result, if I'm not really able to move forward and find that space, oh, yeah. Violet. This is why the guy is known. This is why he's so famous for as the Zen. You can't just walk up simply to Violet in the back line <laughs> as a tracer and not expect to get your head blown off. He hits those shots every single day. He does. For Michaels, they don't want to push in because they know that the DPS have already built their ults. Hydron now is the one that has all of the power. It's playing from the side room, forcing Outlaws back even further. And that means that Shu, without the Lucio, to be able to rotate oh. cleanly away is susceptible to the Echo. We're even seeing Violet throw in the Transcendence to keep Outlaws in a position to hold Defiant up choke. Yeah, I, I guess in like the overall terms, I mean, they only used the Transcendence. Uh, Defiant didn't use anything. Maybe Defiant expected a little bit more to be used for Outlaws. And, and now on the yeah, defensive the side... Play. It's, yeah. it's the perfect play because you need to keep that space that Speedily and Hydron have to work with. We've seen Speedily zone out the entirety of Outlaws before. Let's see if that happens again. They're playing it slow on the low ground. Two minutes and uh, 41 seconds left. And our nade was have to be used. Oh, Pulse no. bomb lands, but it doesn't find the kill because he's nano boosted from Shu. Yeah. Great nano boost to keep him alive, but that does force out that nano from Outlaws. And now Defiant can go back in with their own. The nano boosted Winston to push onto the members of Defiant, looking to use that rush as a leg up to build ultimates. As a result, they haven't found the damage. They're still gonna oh! get dragged out. The hack came through on speedily and they're there to find the follow-up, but Kaluz does trade back happy, so that's a good trade. One for one. Do they commit ultimate? 17 seconds left. They have to, but Violet just been crazy on this, and Yada shuts down Hydrin before they can even come in in 10 seconds. Work with it meant that so much pressure as well, and focus was taken off of Speedly and Hydron, so they were able to get up uh, away with so many different flanks. That all changed when we saw that second ride of zoning Outlaws off of control of this robot. That distance is now evaporating as we talk. Happy is already going to be closing onto that Deadeye. He has control of that poke face. He's going to find the last couple of shots needed to be able to match up. Oh. And Defiant have lost the one way of isolating Outlaws when a dive comes through. They've lost Ultraviolet because the gas wasn't there to create that space. And Phyllis is absolutely Phyllis. He 
don't have to worry about punishment. What? You can just look for the Anna, look for the backline, and Defiant burns a Nano trying to match Shoes off of that fight. That's yeah. going to spiral into the next fight's ultimate economy. Uh, and that was all on Shu there, by the way, who got that sleep dart on the Kalush, who was Nano boosted, and also managed to uh, just get that Nano boost on the front line and find the anti grenade on the Ultra Outlet to pick him early. So great job from Outlaw so far. They got that car control back in their favor. 46 meters to 36 on the side of Defiant. They go towards that car. Kalush has to jump early. He's going to have power range here. Nano boost comes through, and it seems like Havnik can just absolutely Gatling gun this front line. Speedily and Sam are already gone, and another sleep dart comes through on the Kalush. So they're not going to find any value and now it feels like you've almost woken up the beast of outlaws as they continue on forward and get that checkpoint don't poke the bear is, is it an oxen they just have to survive this next engagement this is the true test when the nano boost from shu comes on to fail us defiant cannot go down Collusion on the cart, trying to control it, but both Tracer and Winston doing a lot of that work now. Shu with the Nana Boost realizes Defiant are in a bit of a vulnerable position, but actually it's Fearless who was in because he's poked all the way back, has to use a cooldown. Incoming Nana Boost from Kalush. Do Outlaws decide to commit theirs? It doesn't look like it just said. Now they committed, but it might be too late. They already lost Happy. Sleep Dark does land on the Kalush. Maybe it buys some time for Pelican. High New came through. Pelican finds Sam yet again. It keeps happening every time he commits to High Noon, but speedily finds Pelican in the trade. So it's an even fight but it's fearless with that primal rage. It's monkey v monkey, but it's actually Shu yet again. Sleep thrown on the collusion. It feels like off cooldowns. Collusion is taking a nappy poo. And now it looks like Defiant have to regroup. They don't have a lot of members here. Speedily has to find something with maybe a big pulse bomb, but they only have OG collusion. Speedily, they drop the pulse bomb. It doesn't land. They get staggered. Robot back and outlaws control. And Defiant, by the way, had to burn Deadeye as well to try to deal with Outlaws just with the Nano before the Primal even came through. Defiant should have been the one in control, but Ultra, uh, rather Shu, is able to control so much of that engagement by landing those antis onto Sam, by keeping him in check that Pelican can just immediately follow through. And as a result, Defiant are offset in terms of Ultimate Economy in this next engagement. And Outlaws, they know this. Speedily finds Violet, though, even though it feels like they're disengaging very well, not in that situation. Speedily gets fearless as well. The robot back under the control. But this is, you know, a tough part we have with push for a lot of these teams, right? Moxie just feels like you get control of that robot, but Outlaws now have time to set up in a very good position for them. Yeah, Defiant, very good game sense, knowing that Violet already has that sign bear built up. The Lucio isn't going to be playing in a forward aggressive position because that puts him at a log ahead with the cast. Instead, he's going to be cl playing a little bit closer to the sidelines. And as a result, Defiant just sent a tag team with OG and Speedily <laughs> to deal with him, but Speedily has been removed. Shu finds the tap with the Ana. The Tracer has vanished. And Defiant now lacking that main target of keeping this Winston in check just have to pull back. Shu coming alive, and, you know, we can see why Gladiators fans in the path has always said this man is a MVP caliber player. Now looks for that back line on the end. Yet again, you think this guy's just playing so aggressive. They're afforded this, uh, the ability to do this in Overwatch 2 with the 5 versus 5, right? Not as much pressure on those supports just yet until Defiant set it up. They're playing it slow, letting themselves set up. They have the B-drop engaged, but Moxie, look at Outlaws. They have so many ultimates. I mean, their Nana Boost comes through. They dive on, but Violet pops that B-drop off to sustain another sleep dart. I mean, how many times is you gonna hit that sleep dart on the collusion? It feels like every single break either. So a lot of disruption coming into the street space here of King's Row as Houston Outlaws start to round this corner from the bookstore. But, but Vicky, where, where are you going? And then you go to nowhere. <laughs> Oh, they're coming from the skies. It is raining. Excelsior Psycho is going to be raining right back into the spawn room, though. Here comes a sound barrier from Violet that you made mention of. He's going to be able to try to cover the rest of this quarter right now. They saw the Dragon Strike block without having to burn the shield. And it doesn't even matter, even though he uses that little lip of the statue to get on top of the high ground. Kellen just blasts him. Winston energy right here. Kellen's also about to get that Primal Rage ready, and Fearless gets hit with an anti. No follow-up just yet as Kellen's trying to dive onto the supports. Yep, I mean, Kellen at this point is really waiting for the perfect opportunity to go in for the Primal Rage. Gonna try to rotate through the sound barrier first there from left before absolutely going ape mode. What's he gonna be able to get with this? It's gonna at least be to disrupt the back line here. It was just trying to target Violet, too. They knew that Violet had transit. He was able to pop it, at least restabilize for a brief moment, but they didn't get much done in terms of positioning after that trans was activated here. Now the Nano Boost gets rotated in, where Fearless is going to be able to clear the front line alongside Pelican, but it bought them enough time with that trans that also cost the Excelsior a lot. You saw that Nano Boost coming in. You saw that Sound Bear that was used up by Lep and Kellen as well, who had to burn the Primal point.
mean, what an amazing timing there for the EMP as well from Shockwave. It was before Violet or Shu had their support ultimates online, so no transcendence to be able to come in and save Houston Outlaws Day. On the flip side of things, though, you have Happy getting ready to go with an EMP of his own, but left now, ready with a sound barrier coming in clutch. Oh, that was okay with Sauber coming in from left. Yeah, you saw that EMP go out. Kelly was also really quick to stay on top of it with that barrier here. Violet finds Psycho. You see Violet now being a problem in the back line. The dive coming in from Kellen and Creative now coming in with the Kitsune rush. Fearless finds left, so they don't have that sustainability. Just minus off of that rush, but the transcendence is going to put the outlaws back in the driver's seat, especially to cut them off from being right there on that second point before that big team fight happened right at that second objective. But now that they're rounding the corner, uh, Vicky, like, Houston want to shut them down here, and a big pick on oh. the creative is a great way to kick that off. Especially since he was so close to the Kitsune rush as well. You see Fearless suking it out right now with Fearless. Kelly is the one, though, that has a reset on the primal. He was fighting for that high ground force to jump down. Also has that pocket that you currently see from left, who also has a sound barrier. So playing a little split up right here while Happy has that EMP ready too. So wants to be able to have that opportunity to find the Excelsior while Kellen takes a nap. The rush comes in. Here comes the EMP though from Happy. Doesn't get the progress that they expected. Now that left was out of that sight and was able to pop the sound barrier. Transcendence to match that. Kellen falls super low, having to back away. That was so much damage being done by the Outlaws. Yeah, I mean, this is a big setback here for the New York Excelsior as well. They threw four ultimates at that fight, Vicky, and now there's only 10 seconds remaining. 